The Palestinian village Al Auja in the central West Bank has no running water or electricity. Solar panels provide some energy, but not enough for cooking stoves. As in many other poor parts of the world, villagers keep chicken and livestock. Three months ago, with the help from the European Union and the Perez Center for Peace, about 40 families started using portable devices that turn food scraps and manure into methane gas, suitable for cooking and lighting. This is a very good machine. We've been using it for three months now. The machine provides us with 70 to 80 percent of the gas that we need for our household. The Tiva gas biodigester was designed by the Israeli company Home Biogas. Like many other biogas generators, it relies on the natural ecological energy cycle. The waste is going in, in. the gas is going out to cook a new food. From this food, the waste will come back. With the help of anaerobic bacteria, which is added the first time the machine is used, the biodigester creates enough methane for cooking three meals a day, plus about 10 liters of liquid organic fertilizer. Biogas is smokeless and odorless, and in addition to cooking, can be used in water heating and lighting devices. A built-in manual grinder helps break down the solid parts in the kitchen waste. The home biogas system is designed for areas where the daily temperature does not drop below 15 degrees Celsius. The price is about $2,500, not affordable for most families, so communities have to rely on subsidies from governments or private donors. But designers point out the system can also be useful in more affluent areas with access to organic waste that can be turned into clean energy. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.